Time Investment Holdings Group PSG says its full year recurring headline earnings per share grew by 27%. That's to 392 cents. Its recurring headline earnings amounted to 715 million rand. Now, Capitec continues to be PSG's star performer, contributing 57% to recurring HIPs. So that's before funding. It represents about 39% uh, of the group's assets. Uh, so let's delve into this now. We've got Pete Maton. He is the CEO of PSG joining us on the line. Uh, Pete, thanks so much for joining us. So I stand to be corrected, but your share in Capitec has dropped back to 25.8%, and you've uh, you sold some of your Capitec shares as a result of the kind of uh, undertaking you took during the rights offer to support it, and then you sold back some of those shares. But overall, you've reduced your Capitec shareholding. Uh, should we read anything into this? Uh, firstly, hi, good evening, Samantha. Um, I don't think you should read anything into it. Uh, the fact of the matter is that uh, Capitec um, has become a very big company. So the, the, the rights issue um, share that we had to put in was $724 million, And for us, that's a big check. So what we did is we um, raised specific debt and we felt um, it, it basically left our balance sheet with out the necessary flexibility to tackle other investments and uh, we got a phone call from overseas uh, asset in, uh, managers who wanted to buy the stake and mm -hmm. we let it go so it, go, it gives us a little bit more flexibility to uh, tackle other things in the years to come so uh, essentially we got the same number of shares um, on the balance sheet that we had at the beginning of um, uh, the financial year and we are still very happy with Capitec as an investment. Given, of course, it is such a major driver of, of earnings at, at PSG as it stands right now, what's your assessment of PSG's uh, business model, the stability of the business model, and, of course, with all the scrutiny it's, uh, it's being put under by regulators right now and perhaps uh, increased regulation specifically of the unsecured lending space? Um, so, so generally, uh, I, I, I mean... Uh, the, the unsecured market has grown substantially, but uh, we are very happy with the, the management at, at Capitec. We believe they are the best in the market. They are the most conservative. You can go and look at it, the provisioning policy, the write-off policy. Uh, their sources of funding are the most secure and diverse. And then also they've built a great business on the tra transaction side uh, making up a, st a substantial uh, portion of the earnings um, every year so i think going forward um, capitec will continue to perform well yes there will be uh, more regulatory scrutiny but uh, being a listed business and being a bank uh, you know you are regulated so much that we play within the rules. I think there are a lot of the smaller players um, out there that just couldn't be bothered with regulation. And mm -hmm. uh, I think that's where the focus of regulators should be in the years to come, is to bring everybody uh, in line with the bigger players in the sector. And we should see um, uh, less um, uh, volatility going forward. Let's just, I mean, overall, before we, because we're running out of time, but I mean, we could talk about the fact that Cara Holdings during the period broke even, and certainly that, that model has proved really successful as it stands right now. But talk to us about your portfolio of assets right now. Do you, do you see any gaps within it? Where, where are you looking to get more exposure to right now? Uh, we're very happy with the portfolio as it stands, and that's a big part of our sense announcement. We actually announced... Uh, a new focus for ourselves and we're calling it project internal focus and essentially what we're saying is we're very happy with the portfolio and we're going to focus on making each of the businesses as good as they can be there are 36 companies uh, within the group and uh, i think by giving them the attention maybe some of them can start performing um, in line with uh, the likes of capitec or kiro just partially as well as they've done uh, in the past. So we'll be looking at uh, merger and acquisition opportunities at each of the investment and making sure that their strategies are in line for, for growth into the future. Mm -hmm. uh, very quickly, Pete, any, any specific areas right now where, where you're looking at a potential acquisition or acquisitive growth opportunity? 
obviously we are constantly looking at new things and uh, in the next uh, couple of weeks we might announce one one or two uh, transactions but uh, uh, since we are a public company and most of the deals that we are working on uh, need to have proper disclosure, I, I, I cannot uh, voice opinion at this stage. Well, you certainly are waiting our appetite to hear what those deals are. PSG CEO Pete Maton.